Kendo Podcast episode 165. In this episode, I want to talk about Nito Seminar. Kendo Podcast by Hiro Mafuji from kendoguy.com. Thank you for listening. This podcast is about Japanese martial arts kendo for kendo lovers and supported by kendo enthusiasts through patreon.com. Thank you for your support, guys. Please visit kendoguy.com for more kendo information and how to support kendoguy.com. Welcome to Kendo Podcast episode 100, 165. Right. <clears throat> uh, I have uh, participated. I went to Idaho to participate in the 12th Nito Seminar. Organized by Strauss Sensei from Idaho uh, Kendo Club. And I really appreciate his effort. Every year, it's a 12th, you know, every year he um, was, ever since I participated, he has been organizing it. And of course, uh, Idaho Kendo Club members, uh, I really appreciate them. And also, everyone who has involved in this event. I really appreciate your efforts. And last but not least, uh, six senseis from Japan. Uh, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Fuji Sensei, and Ugajin Sensei, and Sato Sensei, Wada Sensei, and Nagasaki Sensei. I really appreciate their effort as well. Uh, without these people, we simply, this event doesn't exist. So I really, really appreciate the effort. And, you know, the uh, uh, this event is, you know, people think that uh, uh, we're going to learn, they're going to learn Nito, right? They're going to introduce Nito. Well, that's true. Uh, very true. You're going to learn how to, you know, etiquette uh, and how you draw out your Nito, how you put them away and how you, how you, you should be holding it, holding them, and extra, extra, you know, and extra, etc., etc. Now, the uh, the basic uh, principle or theme or the core idea of this event is okay. It is true that we're going to learn nito, but the core idea is nito and ito. Ito and nito are the same which uh, the late Toda Sensei explains. Ichi ni ichi jo. Okay, so ito, one sword, two swords, basically they're the same, you know. So if you learn ito properly, you should be able to do nito. If you learn nito, you should be able to do ito properly too. So uh, after all, it's, you know, basically that, uh, the the principle of the katana, so they should be the same. Now, of course, uh, there are some differences because you need you you're gonna have to control two swords at the same time, so it's a bit different. But again, the idea is they are the same, right? One sword, two swords, they're the same. Now, uh, you know, in we that is uh, four days. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, four days seminar. And Thursday, that was like welcome Keiko. And they, uh, Japanese sensei arrived on Thursday. So, you know, uh, some, some sensei participated. And we had Jigeko. And then my, my luggage were left in Denver because, you know, did you know that? If you stay at an airport like more than four hours, longer than four hours, you have to pick your luggage up. I didn't bloody know that, right? So I was supposed to, apparently I was supposed to pick my luggage up at Denver and then go to uh, Idaho. But since I didn't know that, you know, I thought I checked in my luggage all through the Idaho, my luggage were left in Denver. So next morning, I had to go and pick them up at the Idaho airport. Uh, boy, boys, I, I've been there for like last three, four years. I, ne I can't say that word. Boys airport. 
you know, and then uh, I couldn't participate in the uh, Thursday evening practice. But from next morning, uh, I could participate in the um, seminar. So the four days seminar, and that was very, you know, the one one more thing, you know, besides besides you can learn Nito, but I love the feeling of the seminar. You know, I like the atmosphere. Uh, everyone is friendly. Even senses are friendly, and you know we can enjoy. Uh, not only Kendo, but this socialize, you know, socializing. This is very, very good. And, you know, the, uh, once a year, there are a lot of people I, I see every, you know, only once a year at this event. So that is also good to catch up. You know, like doing Keiko once a year, that's great, you know, so we can kind of uh, check each other. So that's really good. So basically, uh, if you are feeling like, okay, uh, shall I do Nito or am I, I'm still a beginner? Who cares? Everyone is a beginner. If you haven't done Nito uh, before and maybe you might be fifth dan, you're a beginner too. So you know, it's, it's really, really fun to learn something different. You know, once you get to the certain level, you don't really learn something new. But uh, Kendo, Nito is still Kendo and then something new. So it's really, really refreshing. Okay. So I really uh, suggest or recommend you should try Nito sometime in the future. Maybe next year in Idaho, you know. And so, uh, like I said, once a year we uh, we meet and we see each other. So I have to. Uh, I'm gonna uh, kind of share my experience through uh, Nito seminar. Now, uh, I personally don't really take Nito uh, all the time. Some only sometimes because I learn uh at the seminar so i want to try it right so and then i strongly believe that i should be able to take nito as well as a kendoist so i really want to practice sometimes but only sometimes not all the time so you know uh but i like i said i like it there you know the atmosphere and I like those senses so much, so I'll just go and see them every year. And uh, so, two years ago, I think, two years ago, these two senses, uh, one sense told me, your Kia is everywhere. You know, your Kia is coming from top of your head. Your Kia should be coming from the Hara, you know, the lower, lower abdominal. Around there, right? So uh, you should work on it. And the other sense says you have to take the initiatives, right? You have to take an initiative. You're always waiting. Uh, okay, so that was two years ago. Now, last year, again, we saw each other, you know, uh, and then did a Jigeko with them. Same bloody thing. Exactly the same thing. Your Kia is from here. It should be done from, done from the uh, abdominals. And then the other thing is that you have to take the initiative. You go, bloody hell. Exact, exactly the same thing. They didn't say more. They didn't say less. Exact, the, wor the words is the same. Exactly the same. Oh, man. You know, I've been working on it for one year, but it's still the bloody same. Okay, uh, now again, I worked on those two. Another year. All right, and then finally, finally, they didn't say the same thing. And as a matter of fact, that one of the sensei, uh, well, both of them actually uh, gave me, you know, a compliment. So that was kind of relief. But, you know, like, uh, so that is, I mean, every year you have to work on something. And in every training, you have to be working on something. You just cannot do, uh, you know, just kendo, like going through the motions. 
you know, just do kirikaishi. Hayasuburi or suburi, kirikaishi, men's try, men uchi, kote uchi, do uchi, tsuki, and whatever you do. And then, oh, that, that felt good. The same as exercise, right? So now, uh, and as you become higher, of course, you don't, you don't really have, uh, you know, you have to teach more. And the more you, the, you know, the, the more students you have and different age groups and different levels, you have to pay attention to each person, not as a chunk, you know, as a, no, I mean, a chunk, as a group. You can't just teach one thing to your group. Of course, I'll tell them one thing. And then, but you have to pay attention to everyone, and which is very hard, and that's why we have to make them into groups. But you know, still, I try to pay attention to everyone, and that's why the the training time decreases for those instructors, right? Now, so what we have to do is we have to focus on certain things because we don't have time. We don't have time, so we have to work on certain things. I think this, uh, the, this, the Idaho seminar, the Nito seminar, they, they have, uh, we have Q&A uh, session too, which is very great because you don't get to ask these questions to senses all the time. Yeah, you know, after, not in the, uh, even uh, if it's not in training, maybe you can, uh, ask these questions at the second dojo, but you know, you still want, doesn't get to, maybe you don't really get to talk to them or ask them these questions. So this is a great time. And then they, they, uh, the, one of the questions was what you do at home to train yourself. Uh, they do a lot of things, right? Uh, yeah. That, that, what I mean, each uh, six people, six senses have different things. So some senses, oh, I'm going to train. I'm going to work on core. I'm going to do suburi. I'm going to hit uh, a suburi. Uh, I'm going to hit something like a tire, right? And some senses is what I've been uh, at my age. I'm being, you know, I'm getting older. He doesn't look old when he does kendo, you know, just like everyone. That happens to all, all the sensei in kendo, but you know, I have to rest. So I don't really do anything at, at home. That's one way you have to rest. Uh, so uh, the, you know, some senses says, oh yeah, I'm going to, I'm check. I'm going to check myself. I check myself in the mirror in the elevator in the, in the left. And someone comes in and they look at me funny, but you know, that's what I do. So everyone does a lot of things to improve their kendo. Everyone focus on okay. What uh, what? Let's check my kamai, for example. You know, so everyone does little things at their own time. And like Japanese senses, they have you know their uh, their work. Uh, if you don't know about Japanese uh, uh, office workers or. Uh, they work a they work a lot and a lot of sensei don't have time to practice kendo at dojo so they have to do something on their own so that's how they catch up you know the surprise i mean they of course they're fortunate enough to do kendo in japan uh, but still the same we don't get to do uh, i don't get to practice kendo uh you know every day uh, twice maybe three times at most a week so and then uh, like i said i i mostly uh, instruct uh, my students so maybe one one session i do kindle like 20 minutes maybe well worst thing you know, wor when the worst uh, comes only 10 minutes jigeko okay because i have to take care of everyone like beginners and those people who are in armor, right? So, and then still I have to tell them what to do. I cannot just focus on myself all the time at the dojo. So you really, I really have to work on just particular things, right? So, uh, and then uh, this year, you know, I finally overcome these 
uh, things, you know, key eye and taking initiatives. I could accomplish those two assignments from them. So I was very happy, you know. I mean, imagine you're working on, I've been working on my key eye for two bloody years, right? Two years working on key eye, right? And also taking initiative. Now taking initiative at like six down level, it's not really, you know, just you strike. But, uh, you know, I, I was very happy that I, uh, you know, I, they didn't tell me the same thing uh, in three, three years in a row. So I was very happy. So, you know, uh, I really want you to uh, understand the process of kinder. It's not easy. And it's not easy to improve, uh, not even one year, within one year, not even within two years, maybe, maybe five years. But improving is improving. If you train constantly, you can't see the improvement, a uh, huge leap, but you will improve you are improving so don't ever give up okay that's my message just working on small things you know i know you want to do this and that i want to strike fast maybe you want to strike fast but it's not necessary maybe you know so work on what's necessary don't work on something that only you want to do you know so that is the balance Maybe what you want to do is what you need to work on, right? So, you know, that's why you have to have a good teacher so they'll give you uh, what to work on. You know, they will give you a goal to work on. So, uh, anyway, that's my Nito experience. And then, uh, in Nito, this seminar, uh, particularly, they, they, they will, uh, they will require a Nito Shiai. If you participate, if you want to participate in this Shia, uh, Toda Cup, uh, you can participate, but you really have to take Nito. Okay, so that's very unique to this uh, Taikai, I think. So I really recommend you should participate in this seminar one day, you know? And, you know, like I said, Nito and Ito are the same. Uh, that's from the late Toda Sensei. So I really believe so. I really do. Uh, Nito and Ito, you know, it's a preference, uh, of course. If you want to take Nito, you should take Nito. If you just want to take Ito, you should take Ito and you learn vice versa. And one of the Sensei said that, you know, uh, she, wasn't a, she wasn't good at Ito. But after learning Nito, her Ito got better okay so now i understand a lot of sensor says oh, if you can't do ito why you should do nito well you know uh, one should help the other and they should help each other so i think you know just give it a go uh, get a permission from your sensor and if you don't if your sensor don't allow you uh that they don't allow you to take Nito at the dojo, you know, do it at home. <laughs> they don't have to know. Oops, don't tell them I said that. All right, so I hope you enjoy the podcast. And now just one thing, I started a Kindle, a Kindle guide for complete beginners at Patreon for the members. And... Uh, I will be sharing some of the uh, lessons uh, for free soon, so play, uh, please stay tuned. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you in the next podcast. I would like to send special thanks to patrons for their constant support through patreons.com slash kindleforlife.